Hi, my name is Piotr Walczyszyn, I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist and today with this short uh, tutorial I wanted to show you what options you have when you want to build uh, your uh, PhoneGap applications, so those native applications which can be built with HTML5, JavaScript, CSS. Uh, so what, what options you have when you want to build those apps for let's say iOS devices if you don't happen to have a MacBook computer. Uh, so you're not lost, you can still do that. So the way to do it is to use a PhoneGap build service. It's an online free service. There is a free option where you can build as many as you want publicly available apps or one, and one private. Uh, all right, so how do you do that? So I already have um, a, a very simple demo app on GitHub where I can copy the URL to my Git repository. I can go into PhoneGap build, of course, after registering and also after uploading the uh, iOS certificate, so Apple Developer Certificate. Yes, you, unfortunately, you still need that because that application will be as a standard IPA, which you can publish to App Store, so it requires the certificate from you. And once you have the URL, or you can package your app into a zip file, which can be uploaded into a PhoneGap build service, uh, you can start a building process. So I just copy and paste uh, my uh, application uh, git repository URL. I give it some name. So let's say gapbook. That's a very simple demo app that I use uh, to demonstrate um, uh, PhoneGap, uh, which is sort of a notepad uh, for textual and uh, photo uh, notes. Uh, you can enable debugging or you can make your app uh, private. And let's uh, leave those settings like this. Let's create a new application. So it will, what it will do, it pulls my source code from GitHub in this case uh, and starts building process. So it starts building process for iOS, for Android, uh, Windows Phone, um, Blackberry, WebOS and Symbian. And once it's built, let's try to refresh and see what's the status. Okay, it's not ready yet. So in the meantime, I will actually, oh, there we go. We can see it popped up the WebOS. I'll launch a mirroring service on my iPad so you can see how it looks from that side. And I will run an application which is called um, uh, Scan for a QR code uh, scanning. So let's I'll launch this one. And once our application is ready, and it should be by now, there we go, for iOS, I can go into a website which you can also share and I can scan my iOS QR code. So once it gets scanned, there we go, it should pop up a message that it wants to install uh, my app. Let me show you this, there we go, install. It starts the installation process and we should be able to run this demo app uh, right now. There we go, so I can see like, hello world, it's some note. Uh, which has some crazy picture inside. Uh, you have another option. So if you happen to have a Dreamweaver, you can actually from Dreamweaver uh, do similar things directly from your desktop. You don't have to log into the website. It will do, uh, do it for you in the background. So you can switch to mobile applications and it, it will have this uh, PhoneGap build service panel here where you can put your um, PhoneGap build credentials. I already did that. Let's create a new uh, site where I will put my uh, phone gap demo source code. It will actually create a simple template for me in just a second when I tap this. So create uh, as a new project, continue. So what it does right now for my uh, active uh, site in Dreamweaver, it has generated actually a, a, a simple index HTML template, uh, which is just, hey, it's phone gap and also a config XML document, which is required by PhoneGap build. It's sort of a descriptor for the build service. And it, you can specify here like an application name, uh, author of the application, or you can, uh, if you're, let's say, building for um, Android, uh, you can specify the permissions uh, because in, on the Android device, the permissions are uh, specified sort of mm, uh, declaratively upfront when you build your app. And let's see here. Let's wait for iOS and it should be ready in a few seconds. So again, let's launch the scan application. And there we go. Come on iOS, it should pop up. 
in just a second. There we go. So we can tap here. Again, oh, I wanted to show you that. Let's go back. Uh, there we go. So I can point my QR code uh, on my device here, install. So it pops up the installation process and it should be ready. Okay, there we go. So it launches the um, PhoneGap application. You can see whatever we have in the A index HTML we also have here and it, there is also a simple JavaScript code that pops up this alert box. All right, so uh, as you can see, you, you still you're not lost if you want to build for iOS and you don't have Mac computer. Uh, so I hope this uh, is help was helpful tutorial and stay tuned for more.